Imagine by now I've already published a video where I'm using a 9 volt battery to test whether the old style Festune bulb, few style bulbs that are in some of the old school VU meters in Tascam 246, 244, Porto 1 etc. Using this to check that they light okay, you can also do something similar with motors. Here you can see I've got these little thin alligator clips. I've got a green one connected to the negative terminal and a red one connected to the positive terminal. Here I've got an exposed port 07 transport. Say you weren't getting the motor to turn and you wanted to establish whether the motor was actually faulty or whether it's connections to it or a connected circuit board. Uh, you can hook it up to the 9 volt battery like this to check. On this one you can see it's the right most two of four connectors. So I've got a zip tie, cable tie here so you can see motor turn as well as hear it. So hear the buzz, see the little fan movement. So we know that the servo, the motor control chip and everything in there is fine. Similar idea on this partly disassembled 244 motor. Pins are slightly different on this one. So it's this one here that's set back a little and the leftmost one. I'll try and turn this in such a way that you can actually see this part rotating. It's gonna be out of focus because I've got manual focus on, but. The reason that this might be useful for you is here I've got a Tascam 234 motor and I'm trying to figure out whether the fact that this isn't turning is because the motor's dead or because there's something about this circuit board and the wires running into it. But I'm getting no response from that motor. So that leads me to believe that possibly it's mechanically seized but more likely there's a overheated chip a leaking capacitor or something on the little printed circuit board that's inside this case. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more tips.